pictures. So today we're going after the head gasket on this 2002 Honda Civic, and it's got the 1.7. So we're gonna tear it down here and try to give you some information on how to do it. Uh, if you have any questions like that, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and just comment on down there in the bottom. But I've already kind of taken some things apart, so let's take a look. So we got here. I've already taken off my bolts here. These are all the tens. Ten. And there's another ten here. And this whole plastic stuff is going to come out. And once we take that out, there might be, yeah, there's one more ten down here that I have not hit. So once I get that, the screw clamp for this is already loose. It's down here. You can hear it rattling. So then we have this clamp here, this, and we got to take this PVC hose, push it out of the way. So get that out of the way and then give more access to the rest of my stuff but i am going to hold off for a little bit and pull the gasket so then we've got the wiring harness pretty well out of the way so we're going to get these tens the injectors pop those out all right so we've gotten this pretty well situated this is still pretty tight so we're going to go I'm going to try to just take this out with the intake. There we go. One. And... Get those off. The uh, injectors are out of the way. These are my two washers. Put that in the bag. That's the old big stuff. And then, got these big old 12s here, which is going to hold the intake on. Plus, there's a couple other bolts down here. Is that one? One down directly below this other stud looking one. So I'll pull these off. But there's also going to be like a bracket that supports this intake from the bottom, which we're going to have to take off. Which I haven't looked at it, but I'm assuming that's there because it's. Like 99.999% of most intakes, there's always a bracket that helps hold it up so it doesn't flex. So. All right, Victor. So I've taken the exhaust shield on this, which is a couple 12s, and there's 12 down here. And I've loosened this nut here. There's a nut over here, so this is movable. So you kind of pull this all the way to get access to the bottom nut down in there. So you twist this to where you can get that out of the way actually if you take this 10 loose here it makes it a little easier so that's probably what I'll do yeah out of the way we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this loose here he's on 9 16 so it's 14 um, so if you want something that fits a little better use 14 on 9 16 yeah, but so 
now that's loose. There's an adjuster down here. I you see it. I got it. It's like a screw. I think it's just like a little wing nut on it. So I'm gonna push on this, see if it moves all. No, so we're gonna have to take that loose down there somewhere. <coughs> Right there, that feels like a 12. All right. So the force and screw, you force that in, and you push this down here to get your belts out of the way. I'm gonna mark your belts. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna take off my two exhaust bolts here on the bottom, and they're 12s. So I'm gonna come to the bottom so I can get those. All right. So these have two 12s down here, and they got like springs on them, so you don't want to lose those springs. You can get new ones, it's just shutting that stuff down sometimes, pain in the butt. <sighs> well, I may not do that. These feel like they're seized and they're going to break. So I may end up trying to, uh... Should drop out of the way. This just pries out down the bottom like that and be on my way. Save my exhaust gasket to compare with the new ones. Oh, yeah, this 10. That's not 10. 19. That's our loose. I loosened it a while ago. And then just work it back and forth. Sure did. So it's around here somewhere. There it is. You see that? So this happens like almost every single time you do one of these. So don't lose the keyway. They make extra keyways, but they're you know gotta wait a while to get them. So I'm gonna put this in a plastic bag so I don't lose it. But bad angle in here. But we're gonna try to get as much as I can on film for you. But it's basically you're just taking all these tens off the timing cover. So it's there's a ten. Now that hurt. And all these are super rusted in there because this car, like I said, is from Minnesota. So it's got rust. I'm really glad I don't have to deal with that stuff over here that much. You know, we're here in the old Northwest.
Alright, fixers, so I've taken this bracket out of the way so I got more movement with my stuff. And I'm down here trying to work out how to get my... Which bolts I need to take off my cover. So, There's just a whole bunch of tens. Pull this on here. I got this valve cover out of the way. There we go. Boop. So this is out of the way. Okay. So. Let's see. I got one more bolt. Take this off so we can get a bracket off. We can bracket off and line up our belt and start taking the bolts off to the head, I think. And then we can just roll our intake out. So I'm hoping we can do that. This is out of the way. Better access to get the four on my bolts here for my 14s. Where can I put that socket? So you have this bracket over here, and you got I got my three bolts over underneath the alternator, and I got these two bolts that go into the front of the engine. Yeah. So I'm gonna get those two out, and this bracket will be out of the way. Then we can line up our belt, take it off. Once you take the belt off, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just take the head bolts out because I think my intake's basically uh, loose. But it's not loose, it's just it's loose in the bottom where that bracket is. Because I can't get my fat little hands to get all these bolts. I'm gonna try to just take the intake with the head. So I got the bracket out of the way, and we're gonna line up. There's a yellow mark here, or here. So I'm gonna line it up down here on the crank, and then see where it says up here. So I got 19 on my crank bolt. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. part here that I've lined it up where the yellow is going to the top and the crank is lined up where the crank mark is on the bottom. I didn't discuss it but that's where it's lined up and then the next frame I'm going to pop the tension bolt loose so I, I know that everything is lined up. So the yellow mark on the cam here is lined straight up and the mark on the crank is lined and the crank mark that's marked on the bottom.
go ahead and we're gonna pop this 14 loose. Oh, that's your tensioner. There it is. All right, so I got it lined up. So there's a mark down here. See, just on the other side of this. It's right here, just up of the crank sensor. You can't really see it because it's that yellow mark. It's lined up with it. There's a notch that's hidden behind the belt. And so you go up here. See that little notch right there on the back side of your um, pulley? There's another one on this side. So you want to make sure that it's lined up. So I actually need to move this just a little bit, I think. So they look pretty even. So that should be where everything should be lined up. I'll check my mark down here after I moved it. Yeah. It might be like half a tooth off. But I'll fix that once I take the head back off. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'll pop that 14 off. Um, so I'm going to go after my head bolts now that I got my belt off. I'm going to have to break these free with the ratchet first. Got a shot through a little bit. forgot I was supposed to record, but so I got my head bolts out. And now uh, this is all free, so I'm going to have to make some stuff move. Get stuff out of the way here. So... My camera's got 12%, so if I cut to like where the head's getting machined or after it's machined, it doesn't hate me too much. But I'm going to try to get as much of this as possible on here. So, uh, get this out of the way. Get out of the way. So while I'm working through here and I'm taking this stuff off, um, the thing that I didn't touch on here is that there's a couple bolts that are, they were either 10 or 12 that come down, there were studs that were attached to the plastic intake, and that was the just of the uh, support bracket for the lower intake. So you get, there's a couple bolts underneath that you, got, you have to take off in order for this to work correctly. So. That's one of the things that I blew past here. Also, getting the belt off and the cam gear out. Uh, I, I used um, like a cam tool to keep the cam in place while I got the bolt off for the cam or got it loose. And then I was able to get my belt off because you want to break that cam gear loose before you take the belt off so you don't end up twisting your cam and bending all the valves against the head or anything like that. Um, you can do it when the head's off the vehicle. It's just it's more of a pain in the butt. But here there's a couple uh, hoses that I have going to take off. You either cooling hoses or uh, ECV hoses, vacuum hoses. So I'm just using a pair of pliers to uh, squeeze the lamps off. And then 
I'm able to get the hose off. This out of here all in a big piece. There we go. Clamps that you gotta take off. There's one here in the back. For your brake booster. That's off. That. So maybe it's free now. Oh yeah. Free the bird. Alright, Fixture, so this is wrapping up the video. So if you want to see any more, you can do the valve job next. So just give me a like, give me a subscribe, and check out the rest of my page. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Okay. So this stuff here is called silicate glass. or it's just grossness. Got the head off. Yip yip hooray. So we're gonna see where it failed at. Alright. So it's a multi clad gasket so it's kinda hard to see where it fails. But I would say that it failed right in there maybe. So now you have access to getting your bolts out with this 12. All these easy enough now. Fix are good. Be a fixer, fixer, fixer. Be your own, be your own, be your own.